Today, everything in Minecraft is godly. I'm going to have a bunch of god potions that I can throw on the stuff to turn it into its godly variant. Will I be able to create enough godly items to defeat the king of all gods, Godzilla? Or will I die to his scary minions he sends to attack me? Ah, what a beautiful day it is. And okay, maybe it's not so beautiful. What is that? There's a literal Godzilla. What do I do? And oh, it's gone. Huh? Well, I guess we can go see if it dropped anything. And oh my gosh, it definitely dropped something. First of all, it dropped these 16 god potions. Okay, we'll check those out in a second, but it also dropped a book. Uh, let's read this book, I guess. Use these potions wisely. I will be back to destroy you. Prepare. My Godzilla. Oh my gosh, what? Why is Godzilla trying to haunt my world? I have no idea. But he's telling me to prepare, and it looks like he gave me these 16 god potions. Well, I guess we'll test these god potions on something. Let's go craft a sword and we'll throw a potion on it. And here we go, craft this sword. And now let's just throw this off the ground and throw a god potion on it. What does this god potion do? And oh my gosh, that god potion just turned everything around me into godly blocks. And look at what it did to this sword. Whoa, this is a god sword tier one now. And look, when I swing this thing, it does this super cool laser attack. This thing is awesome. Oh my gosh, I guess these god potions can turn to anything godly. But look at the top of the screen. There's now a godly meter. Okay, I don't know what a godly meter means, but it looks like it goes up every time I throw one of these potions. We'll worry about that later. Let's get to using more of these potions. These are so cool. I mean, we have a really cool weapon now, but what else should we throw it on? Huh, I guess there is like a parrot right there. I didn't even know parrots could spot in the plains biome. And since we just tested these things on an item, let's test it on a mob. Mr. Parrot, you're about to turn into a god parrot. It didn't work to look at this. Whoa. Okay, I guess this is what a god parrot looks like. It's all yellow now. And oh, it's just flying in one. Why did it just strike a bunch of lightning down at me? What on earth? Look at this thing. It is like majestically flying in the air. And what? Is it trying to strike me with lightning or something? Hey, mister. Oh my gosh. This thing's dangerous. Okay, maybe I have to kill this thing before it tries to kill me with its lightning attacks. Okay, I have to try and dodge every time it strikes lightning down because that will probably one shot me. Okay, it looks like it's getting close to the floor. Let's try and shoot this thing. And oh, I'm getting electrocuted. Ah, this is not good. Oh my gosh, that hurt a lot. Whoa, I am on one and a half hearts, Mr. Bird. You need to calm down, but I need to kill this thing. Okay, it's on the ground, so we just need to go in with our sword and try and kill this. Okay, this is a dangerous operation, but come on, let's go in and come on, shoot this thing. Come on, just a couple more hits. Die! And there we go. I think we killed it. And we are on half a heart right now, but it looks like it dropped something. Okay, let's dodge this electricity and let's go and try and grab this. What is that? Is that some sort of thunderbolt God item? Okay, let's pick this up and it's called Thunderbolt Tier 1. Okay, I wonder why these things are called Tier 1 because my God Sword also has Tier 1 in the name. I guess that means we'll be able to upgrade these things later, but anyways, what does this Thunderbolt do? And whoa! It looks like I have the power of the God Zeus. I can strike a lightning down from the sky. This is awesome. But it looks like it's taking a little bit of durability, so I do not want to waste this thing's durability. We'll save this for any boss fights that we have to do. Let's not wait any longer. Let's to use another god potion. And for the next thing I'm gonna throw my god potion on is some iron armor. And that's because I wanna turn some armor into god armor, and this way I'll basically never be able to die. And if we ever need to fight any boss like that Godzilla boss, we'll be completely A-OK, -okay and we won't have to worry about a thing. So let's just smelt this up, and boom. Okay, let's craft the armor now. And for this, we're gonna do exactly what we did for the sword. We're just gonna throw it all on the floor, get our god potion, and throw it on it like I got this. And here we go. I think it created some god armor. Yeah, look at this. It's called god helmet, god chest plate, god leggings, and god boots. And they all have a T1 after it, meaning these are all tier one armor pieces. Well, let's try this on it. Oh my gosh, look at us. And when we put this on, we get a permanent speed two effect. Look at how fast we are. This is so cool. We can just run around the map like the flash. And look at our armor pieces. They are all filled up, meaning this armor is so, so powerful. Oh, wait, 
what? Why am I running so fast right now? Huh? This is so weird. And wait, it just ran out. Wait, I'm pretty sure every time I press G on my keyboard, yep, it gives me like speed 25. I run so fast for like five seconds. Okay, yeah, that is so cool. So along with the permanent speed too, every time I press G on my keyboard, I basically turn into the flash for a few seconds. And I can just run super fast and run away from any boss chasing me. But speaking of bosses, check out the boss bar at the top of the screen. Since every time I've been throwing a potion, it's been filling up after each potion I throw. And it's almost at that first bar out of those little three bars. I wonder what's gonna happen when I fill that up to that first little bar. I think it's gonna spot a boss or something. Well, I hope not. But if it does, I have to be prepared. So since the next time I throw this god potion, there's a possibility of a boss spawning. I have to choose what I throw this potion on very wisely. And wait, look at that. There's like a zombie inside this little church thing. Wait, maybe we should throw the potion on a zombie and see what it turns into. So, uh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Uh oh, it's coming at me. Let's close that door. Let's actually just mine a hole like this so we'll be able to throw the potion on it. Mr. Zombie, I need to throw a god potion on you. Okay, let's just try this. Hopefully, this doesn't spawn a boss. Let's go. Oh my gosh, what is this? It definitely spawns in a boss each time it gets to one of those little bars. And oh my gosh, it just destroyed that house. Okay, I have to be careful. It looks like it's trying to attack me. It's throwing wither skulls at me. Okay, we have to defeat this thing and see what it drops. Well, it's a good thing we actually did prepare. We have a god sword, a god thunderbolt, and all of this god armor. And remember, I can make myself run really fast. Okay, we are definitely gonna be able to defeat this thing. Let's start off with some god thunderbolts. And okay, we just have to make sure we dodge all of its magic attacks. Okay, let's do a thunderbolt like this. And oh, I missed. Okay, let's try that again once this reloads. We're just gonna go like this and boom, we struck it with lightning. But oh no, it's spawning in mobs. Let's get our god sword and kill these mobs real quick. This is so useful. Every time I swing it, it does like a little laser attack out of it. That allows us to stay away from these mobs just the right amount so I can't get hit. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. I need to kill you. Oh no, there's a creeper. Oh my gosh, I took a bunch of damage. It's a good thing we have this god armor. Okay, let's activate our speed and go into the boss and try and get some hits on it. Okay, it looks like we hit it once, but it's throwing me in the air. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's firing arrows. This is not gonna be easy. But uh, I think we just have to take care of the little minions. So let's strike that guy with lightning and kill him with my sword. And oh no, he's shooting fireballs at me now. This guy has insane attacks. And I only have six steak left. I'm not gonna be able to heal soon. But it looks like it has this purple thing on its back and I think that's the only way to hit it. We have to hit it at that purple spot. So we just gotta wait for it to do an attack and go in and hit it. Okay, that's definitely how you do damage to it. But it's spawning in more mobs. So let's go in and try and hit it again while it's deactivated. Mr. God Zombie, I need to kill you. Oh, no. It's flicking me up in the air. And, oh, I'm on two and a half hearts. Run, run, run. But we're doing a pretty good amount of damage to this thing. Let's go in for another hit. Come on, 360. Okay, that didn't work. Come on, hit this thing. Okay, we got another hit. Okay, it's deactivated again. Let's go in for one more hit. Come on. Okay, go. Oh, no, I missed. Okay, we're gonna hit it like that. And I think we only need to hit it once or twice more to defeat it. This is a really close call. I only have one steak left. Okay, let's eat this and go in for our final hit. Come on, get rid of these mobs. And come on, come on, it's deactivated. Activated, hit it. Oh, no, I missed. Come on, just one more hit. Oh, I have no way to heal. We have four hearts left. Okay, it's doing its final attacks. Lightning. Okay, come on, it's standing still. It's literally has no health left. Let's kill it. Come on. And wait, I think we might have killed it. Let's take care of these mobs. And all right, we finished the last mob and let's see what it dropped. Okay, first of all, it dropped a little bit of food. Okay, let me definitely eat that. I was getting really low on health there. And it also dropped this command block book called a God Upgrader. Wait, I think that's how we're gonna upgrade our tier 1 items into their tier 2 variants. And then last but not least, we got a God Heart. Wait, what is a God Heart? Wait, what happens if we right-click with this thing? And what? It just gave me a bunch of hearts. Wait, does that give me plus 6 permanent hearts? That is awesome. That is gonna be so useful for these next bosses. Okay, well, let's not waste any more time. Let's start using the rest of our God Potions. So first of all, we have this God Upgrader which we just obtained from that boss. So let's throw this on the ground with, uh, what should we upgrade? We can upgrade our sword, our thunderbolt, or our armor. Uh, okay, let's just upgrade our thunderbolt. I think that'll be the best thing. And then let's throw the god potion on it like this. And yes, it definitely upgraded this. Thunderbolt, what is this? Okay, let's just pick this up. And yes, it's called a thunderbolt tier two now. And also check the ground out. It turned into gold, diamonds, and wool. I think every time we use these potions, it's getting more and more powerful because the godliness meter at the the top of the screen is getting more filled up. That means our items are gonna get better and better as the video goes on. This is awesome. Well, let's test out this Thunderbolt tier two 
and whoa. Not only does it make a thunderbolt come down from the sky, it makes a massive explosion. Okay, this is a huge upgrade. This is gonna help with our next bosses so much. And hopefully, we'll be able to kill the Godzilla at the end of the video. All right, what should we use our next God Potion on? Let's do this really quickly because I wanna fight the next boss as soon as possible, but we have to prepare first. And I mean, we do have five gunpowder from all those wither God Creepers we killed. So let's mine some sand and we can make a TNT. Okay, here we go. Let's craft a crafting table. And boom, here we go. Let's throw this on the ground like this. And let's not waste any time. Let's throw the God Potion right now. And what? It just turned that TNT into four different types of TNT. We'll be able to use all of these on the next boss. It just blows the bosses up. Like, look at some of these TNTs. These are insane. Okay, so first of all, we got an arrow TNT, a cluster bomb TNT, a dividing TNT, and a big TNT. Okay, all of these sound really, really OP. But we'll test those during the boss fight. So let's just put these in our inventory before I accidentally blow myself up. It's actually getting pretty late right now. I've just been trying to find something to throw this next god potion on. But I don't want to fight any mobs right now, so let's craft a bed real quick. Sorry, ships. I'm gonna have to kill you. Here we go. We got a bed now. Let's sleep. And while we're sleeping, I actually did just get an idea. What if we throw a god potion on a bed? I mean, I have no other ideas for what we could use. I mean, we already have some really OP armor and weapons. So maybe we could get some sort of new weapon. Let's throw it on the bed like this. And whoa, look at this. This is not a bed anymore. What is this? This is called a staff of sleeping now. Whoa, oh wait. Well, that sounds really cool. Let's go test it out this sheep over here. Okay, let's just hit it with the staff of sleeping like this. And wait, what? Every time I hit the sheep, it puts like Z's coming out of it. And it like stuns it for a second. It like freezes it in place. Wait, that's actually pretty cool. We'll be able to use this on bosses and just put them to sleep and make it so they can't move and then we can kill them with our OP weapons. Well, it is that time again. Look at the boss bar. We only need to throw one more god potion until it fills up to that next little line. So that means the next potion we throw, we is going to turn that thing I throw it on into a boss. What should we throw it on? And it looks like there's a new village over here. We could throw it on one of the villagers. That is a little bit messed up because we're gonna turn a villager into some sort of mutant villager boss. Uh, so Mr. Villager, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna throw this on you. I might have to kill you because you're gonna turn into an evil boss. Okay, enough talking. Let's throw this potion. And oh, I think it spawned the boss. What is this thing? It's called the Sun God. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to fight a sun god and it's like striking sunbeams from the sky. Oh no, this is not good. It's even spotting a bunch of little minions. Let's take these guys out real quick. Okay, thankfully these guys are very weak. They just have bones as weapons. So we'll take these guys out and oh my gosh, these sun strikes are crazy. Okay, Mr. Sun God, I need to dodge all of your attacks and use my thunderbolts on you. We both have attacks that come from the sky. But look at him. He's just hiding in the water right now and he's like enchanted. Wait, I just realized he's healing health right now. We have to take out these minions quickly. It looks like this guy's healing him. So we have to kill this guy and all of these little glowing minions are healing him. You guys have to stop this. Die, Mr. Die. Okay, let's take this guy out. And there we go. I don't think he's getting healed anymore, but we're taking a bunch of damage. But I just remembered we have all of these TNTs. Let's get my flint shield. We're gonna light some TNTs next to this guy. First of all, we'll use this arrow TNT just like this. And let's see what this thing does. Uh oh, it's about to explode. And whoa, that just made a bunch of arrows fly everywhere. That didn't do too much damage though. So let's try this dividing TNT. Let's see what this does. Come on. Oh my gosh, wait, what? It's turning into a bunch of TNTs. Oh, I'm gonna get exploded. Whoa, did you see that? That was a crazy explosion. I can't believe that didn't insta kill that boss. It's just full health again. It like turned into a bunch of different TNTs. That was pretty cool. But next up, let's try this thing called a cluster TNT. And it just has a bomb on it. That looks pretty crazy. Okay, let's like this and actually run really far this time to make sure we do not die. And oh my gosh, I think that lands. I didn't even get to see it. I just heard a crazy explosion, but we still have one more TNT. First, let's try and do a little damage to the Sun Chief with our Thunderbolt staff. And then let's go in and place this thing. Let's place that there and light it. And uh-oh, what's happening? Look at it. There's a crazy explosion. I don't even know what's happening. And oh, that was actually a pretty lame TNT. That did like nothing. Well, we're out of all of our cool TNTs now. We just have to use our Thunderbolt staff on this guy and kill all of these little minions healing him. Come on, mister. Stop healing this guy. You're so annoying. And let's make sure to eat our pork just so we can stay safe. Where did this boss go? Oh, here it is. Let's go in with our sword and attack him. Die. 
Hey, uh, and whoa, what is that? I just did that crazy egg sun explosion. This is truly a sun god. And what is he doing now? Okay, we just have to stay back and keep using this staff on him to kill him and his minions. Come on, die, guys. Okay, there's one more over here. And there we go. Now we should be able to attack this guy. He's doing some crazy laser and I'm getting kind of low. But I think we better take him out. Look it up. He's dying. Uh, let's go. It says boss to defeat it. And look at this. It dropped two of these upgrading bucks now. That means we'll be able to upgrade our god sword to tier two and our armor to tier two. Okay, let's pick both these things up and also drop this yellow cake thing. Oh, uh, what is this? This kind of looks like a banana. Well, I love bananas. Let's eat this thing. And uh, it's not doing anything. Okay, I guess it's not a banana. Well, it looks like it gives me this effect called the sun's blessing when I hold it. And wait, I think I figured out how to use it. What? Oh my gosh, when this thing's in my inventory and I have nothing in my hand, I can shoot out this crazy laser. Whoa. Okay, I just got the power of the sun god. And look, I can even call down sun strikes like this. Let's go. This is so cool. This is gonna come in so handy for the next bosses. But we also got both of these god upgrader bucks, so let's use these. We're like completely stacked right now, but we're gonna get even more stacked. Okay, let's throw this here, and then we'll put our sword just like that. Let's throw our god potion right now. And what is this? Look at this sword. Oh, uh, this looks very, very OP. Wait, let's see this thing. Its stat says it does what? Am I seeing this right? This does 750 damage. A normal diamond sword does 7 damage. This does 100 times more damage. Okay, it must be giving us all this insanely powerful stuff because our next boss is gonna be so hard. I am actually really scared, even though we have this massive sword and these crazy sun powers. Okay, I guess we'll use this again, though. Let's throw our book right here and let's get all of our armor, take it off and then we'll just throw it all here just like this. Alright, let's throw our next god potion just like this. And okay, here's our god armor. Let's try this stuff on. And is this stuff insane or what? It literally matches our god sword. And it's all enchanted with this crazy OP protection X. And I don't know why the game's giving us all this OP stuff, but I am not gonna complain. And now finally, what I actually want to do is get some apples. And that way, I'll be able to throw the god potion on an apple and then we'll be able to get some god apples and i think that's how it works so let's try and get an apple by mining some leaves oh and there we go we got an apple all right let's bring this over here drop this there and let's throw a god potion and here we go we got some enchanted god apples look at these these are like some cool green color let's go and when we eat it it looks like we get all of these op effects we get resistance three for ten seconds for generation six and oh my gosh that basically means we can't can't die for 10 seconds each time we eat one of these apples. And on top of all of our armor, this is gonna come in so handy. But it's that time again. Look at the top of the screen and at the godliness meter. The next thing that we throw this god potion on, we'll turn into an OP boss. What should we throw it on? And hmm, there's like a sheep here. This is the only mob around us. I guess we'll just throw it onto this sheep. So Mr. Sheep, are you ready to turn into a god boss? Uh, you better be because I'm gonna kill you and destroy you. Let's go. And oh no, the boss spawn. What is this? I can't see anything. Everything is just purple on my screen. Oh my. Okay, we have to be careful. I think the boss is chasing me. Oh, what? This thing is massive. Okay, well, this thing has 800 health and we have a sword that does 750 damage. So I think we should be able to kill this thing. Let's just get to a good spot. And maybe we'll use our Thunderbolt staff on it to try and get a little damage. And okay, that's not working. Let's eat one of these god apples and let's try and hit this thing. And oh, we hit it. And look, it's only on 110 health health right now. We are doing this so well. I'm happy we got this god sword tier 2 in order to take down this boss. But let's try that again. And this time, let's use our sunbeam. Okay, we're using the sunbeam. And that's actually working pretty well. We're getting a couple damage on this boss done. Die, Mr. Boss. And okay, let's use our sword this time. And we're not even taking any damage because of how OP our armor is. But let's finish this boss off. And oh, I think I might have killed it. Okay, it says boss to defeat it, but where's my loot? And oh, there's my loot. And whoa, look at this stuff. This looks so OP. So we got this a massive space devastation sword. Oh my. Okay, we'll use that instead of that other sword because it's way cooler. It shoots out fire. And then next up, we have this cool giant scythe and it's called the Destroyer of Moons. And whoa, look at this. We can mine a bunch of blocks instantly. And it insta-mines any block. Oh my gosh. And then last, we got these cool cosmic wings. 
tentacles. And they're called cosmic tentacles. Wait, let's wear this where our chest plate is. And oh my gosh, look, we can fly super quickly. We have all the most insane god items right now. I don't even think we need to use the rest of our god potions. And wait, I just checked my inventory. We actually have another item I didn't even realize we had. We have a dark matter mini gun. Oh my, look at how fast we can shoot this. Oh my gosh, when we fight this final Godzilla boss, we are going to completely destroy it. Yeah, let's not even use these god potions. I don't want to waste any time. Let's get to the final Godzilla boss right now. Let's just throw all these potions on this house. So we'll throw one like that, the second and the third and the fourth. Let the boss fight start. And okay, it says boss spawn. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is the final Godzilla boss and it's just decimating this village. It has these crazy fireball attacks, but we have to take this thing down and save the world. Oh my gosh, it's launching me in the air. Okay, it's a good thing we have these wings so I can land nice and safe. Let's eat one of these enchanted god apples just so I won't die instantly. And let's go in with our space devastation sword and do some damage to this. We barely do any damage, but we just have to slowly chip away at this thing's health. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's destroying everything. It's making a ravine with its fireballs. Let's go here and try and mine a bunch of blocks under him with our giant pickaxe thing. And there we go. We got that. And let's use some more of this mini gun. You need to die, mister. You are corrupting my world and I need to save it. Oh no, it exploded me again. This is not good. I need another enchanted god apple. And wait, what? I think it just broke all of my armor. This is really, really bad. I'm gonna die if I even get hit one more time. Okay, let's try and just use our mini gun. And oh no, I gotta be careful. Let's eat a god apple. Get ourselves some resistance and go in with our sword for the final hit. This is so scary, but it's almost dead. Just one more hit. Let's go in with our destroyer of moons. I am going to kill you, Godzilla. Die! Uh, I, I, oh, there we go. I killed it. Let's go. Give me the Godzilla powers. And there we go. I just beat it. And what? God mode activated? What does that mean? And wait a second. I'm in creative mode and my entire inventory is diamonds. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess that's what happens when you kill Godzilla. I just saved the world, even though I didn't really save it. Everything is dead and everything is blown up. Well, it was a valiant effort. Everyone, thanks for watching the video and make sure to subscribe. Seriously, just subscribe, guys. It would help out so much and click the video on the screen. Bye! Click the video on the screen!